how do you find how much of an excess reactant remains? In this example, we have some hydrogen and some oxygen, but one of them is going to run out first. Once there's none of one of these, then the rest of the other thing is going to just sit there and have nothing to react with. It's called the excess reactant. How can you figure out how much of it is left over at the end of a reaction? Step one, find the limiting reactant, find what runs out first. Then use a mole ratio to figure out how much of the excess reactant was actually used up. Then you can take that amount away from the starting amount to get how much was left over. Let's do it together. Step one, find the limiting reactant. The way you find the limiting reactant is, well, first you need the numbers of moles of each of these things. The number of moles is the mass divided by the molar mass. In this case, it's three grams divided by, now the molar mass of H2 is two times the atomic mass of hydrogen, which my periodic table says is one. So each of those molecules is two grams per mole. Three divided by two gives me 1.5 moles of hydrogen. Oxygen will be the same mass divided by molar mass. That's 29 grams divided by oxygen weighs 16. So O2 weighs 32 grams per mole. And 29 divided by 32 gives me 0 0.90625 moles. All right, 1.5 moles of this, 0.9 of that. It looks to me like we have less O2, but that's not how you find limiting reactant. Limiting reactant tells you which one runs out first. And look, the hydrogen, H2, is consumed twice as fast as the O2. The coefficient of two here compared to the coefficient of one is the relative rates of consumption. My trick to find the limiting reactant is to take each of these numbers of moles, point or 1.5 in this case, and 0 0.90625 in this case, and divide them by the coefficients from the balanced chemical equation. When you do that, you'll get two numbers, 0.75 and point, well, 0 0.906 again here. Whichever of those numbers is smaller, that's the limiting reactant. So that means H2 is the limiting reactant here. Now, personally, I discard these calculations once I'm done that. I'm only doing that to figure out which one is limiting. Now we've got to use a mole ratio to figure out how much of the excess reactant, which, by the way, is O2, you know, anything that's not limiting is excess, how much of that is actually getting used up. So O2 consumed, this is how much is getting used. We know that we've got to use up 1.5 moles of the H2. And then we're going to use a mole ratio. That's multiplying by the numbers or the coefficients in front of each of the compounds in the balanced chemical equation. This is one mole of O2 for every two moles of H2. And I'm just making sure that the limiting reactant is in the denominator of this mole ratio here. The moles of H2 as a unit cancel each other out. And what I'm left with is moles of O2. Huh? 1.5 times 1 divided by 2 gives me 0 0.75 moles of O2 that is actually used up. Now, the O2 that is remaining after the end of the reaction is the starting amount, 0 0.90625 moles, less the amount that you actually used. When you do that calculation, you get 0 0.15625 moles, and that's how much is left over. Again, you had to find the limiting reactant, figure out how much of the other reactant was actually used, and take that away from the starting amount. This is your final answer, although if you were trying to do sig figs, you know, significant digits, you didn't have to say it was about 0 0.16 moles left over. And if you were asked for grams, you'd actually have to convert it to grams. Mass is moles times molar mass. 
0.16 moles times, oh, we already did 32 grams per mole. And when you do that on your calculator, I think you get exactly five grams, 5.0 with the right number of significant digits. But again, that was extra. What mattered to you is finding how much was excess by finding which one was limiting, using its number of moles and the mole ratio to get how much of the other thing was used, and then taking that away from how much you started with. Beautiful. Hope you liked it. Best of luck.